I, I've been a journalist for about 25 years and I was educated to lie, to betray and uh, not to tell the truth to the public. Not to tell the truth to the public. Not to tell the truth to the public. Well, I, I've been a journalist for about 25 years and I was educated to lie, to betray and uh, not to tell the truth to the public. But seeing right now, within the last months, how, how far, um, how, how the German and American media tries to bring war to the people in Europe, to bring war to Russia, uh, this is a point of no return and I, I stand, I'm going to stand up and say um, it is not right what I have done in the past uh, to, to manipulate people, to make propaganda against Russia and it is not right what my colleagues do on, and have done in the past because they are bribed uh, to betray the people not only in Germany, all over Europe. They are bribed. Uh, to betray the people they are bribed, uh, to betray the people. <laughs> the reason writing this book was that I, I am very fearful of a new war in Europe and I don't like to have this situation again because uh, war is not, never coming from itself. There is always people behind it to push for war. And this is not only politicians, this is journalists too. And uh, I just have written in the book how we have betrayed in the past our, um, our readers just to push for war and uh, because I don't want this anymore. I'm fed up with this propaganda. We live in a banana republic and not in a democratic country where we have press freedom, where we have human rights, uh, when we... If, if you see the German media, especially my colleagues who day by day write against the Russians who are in transatlantic organizations and who are supported by the United States to do so, well, m people like me, I, I, got, I, I, I became an honorary citizen of the state of Oklahoma in the United States. Just why? Just because I write pro-American. I wrote pro-American. Uh, I was supported by the Central Intelligence Agency, by the CIA. Why? Because I should be pro-American. I'm fed up with it. I don't want to do it anymore. And so I, I've just written a book not to earn money. No, it will cause a lot of trouble for me just to, to give the people in this country, in Germany, in Europe and all over the world, to, just to give them a glimpse of a view what goes up behind the closed doors. One of the hopeful things that I've discovered is that nearly every war that has started in the past 50 years has been a result of media lies. The media could have stopped it if they had searched deep enough, if they hadn't um, reprinted government propaganda, they could have stopped it. But what does that mean? Well, that means basically populations don't like wars. And populations have to be fooled into wars. Populations don't willingly and op with open eyes go into a war. So if we have a good media environment, then we'll also have a peaceful environment. Well, our number one enemy is ignorance. Um, and I believe that is the number one enemy of everyone, uh, is not understanding what is actually going on in the world. It's only when you start to understand that you can make effective decisions and effective plans. Now, the question is, who is promoting ignorance? 
well, those organisations that try to keep them secret, um, and those organisations which distort true information to make it false, misrepresentative. In this latter category, um, it is bad media. Um, it, it really is my, my opinion that the media in general are so bad, uh, we, we have to question whether the world wouldn't be better off without them altogether. Um, there's some very, very fine journalists, um, and we work with many of them, and some fine media organizations, but the vast majority are awful, and are so distortive to how the world actually is. Um. Thank you about my experience as being the, the crisis manager, the flu commissioner for for Belgium and, and, and highlighting the communication uh, aspects there. And then you have one opportunity to do it right. I mean, day one is so important. Uh, in day one, you start your communication with the press, with the people, and, uh, and you have to do it right. I mean, you have to go for one voice, one message. In Belgium, they chose to uh, appoint a non-politician to do that. I mean, I have no party affiliations, and that makes things a little bit, at that time at least, a little bit easier because you're not, you're not attacked politically, majority, minority, uh, that doesn't come into play, and that was a huge advantage. The second advantage is that you can play in Brussels the complete naive guy and, uh, and get a lot more done than you would otherwise be, uh, be able to do. You can play in Brussels the complete naive guy. You have to be omnipresent that first day or the first days so that you attract the media attention, uh, you, you make an agreement with them that you will tell them all, and if they call, you will pick up the phone. When you do that, then you can profit from these early days to, uh, to get complete carpet coverage of the field, and they're not going to search for alternative voices there. And they're not going to search for alternative voices there. And if you do that, that makes things uh, a lot easier. And then you have to say, okay, well, we will have H1N1 deaths. Of course, that would be unavoidable. Uh, I used there Sir Donaldson's uh, quote, where he said that in the UK, by the peak of the epidemic, 40 people would die uh, per day uh, at the end of the summer. Uh, so 62 at that time, million people in the UK, 40 deaths a day. I worked it out for Belgium. That would be seven deaths a day at the peak of the epidemic. I used that in the media. Uh, I used there Sir Donaldson's uh, quote, I used that in the media, seven Belgian flu uh, deaths per, uh, per day at the peak of the epidemic would be realistic. That is true in every year, even interpandemically. <laughs> that, that, that is very, very conservative. <laughs> However, talking about fatalities is important because when you say that, people say, wow, what do you mean? People die because of influenza? And that was a necessary step to, uh, to take. And then, of course, a couple of days later, you had the first uh, H1N1 death in the country, and the scene was set and it was already talked about. And then you had to pick uh, who is going to be vaccinated first. Huh? And then, well, women and children first, whatever. Well, women and children first, whatever, whatever. I mean, risk groups, they were important. And then I misused the, uh, the fact that and then I misused the, uh, the fact that the, uh, the top, top football soccer clubs in Belgium um, inappropriately uh, and against all uh, agreements vaccinated their, uh, they made their soccer players priority people. So I said, I can use that. Because if the, the population really believes that this, this vaccine is so desirable that even the soccer players would be dishonest to get their vaccine, uh, I, I said, okay, I can, I can play with that. So I made a big fuss about this. I can, I can play with that. So I made a big fuss about this. This is Van Ranst is, uh, is raving mad. Uh, <laughs> but, but it worked.
like COVID, gangbusters are great, are great event, right? Which is why we constantly have the death toll on the side, which I have a major problem with that we're tallying how many people die every day. Because I've even looked at it and be like, look at it and be like, let's make it higher. Like, why isn't it high enough, you know, today? Like, it would make our point better if it was higher. And I'm like, what am I rallying for that's a problem yeah that we're doing that, you know like this special red phone ring yeah and they pick it up and it's like the head of the network being like there's nothing that you're doing right now that makes me want to stick put the numbers back up because that's the most enticing thing that we have so put it back up so like things like that are constantly talked about there's no such thing as um, unbiased news with any reporter on CNN. Okay. What they're actually doing is they're telling the person what to say. It's always like leading them in a direction before they even open their mouth. And the only people that we will have on the air, for the most part, are people that have a proven track record of taking the bait. And the only people that we will have on the air are people that have a proven track record of taking the bait. We want to find a way of ramping this up even beyond uh, the end of the lockdown. Uh, and I don't know when the lockdown will end. Uh, some people are saying the 16th of April, but when we announced it, I didn't say what year it will end. <laughs> I, I I just... Opwelling heb ik toen, hè, toen werd ik gebeld en in de opwelling heb ik wel gezegd, luister eens, we kunnen ook Wilders premier maken als je dat wilt. Hè? Dus je doet het via ons voortaan. Ja, misschien moet je dit niet onthullen, maar dit is wel een beetje hoe het gaat. Luister eens, we kunnen ook Wilders premier maken als je dat wilt. Hè? Dus je doet het via ons voortaan. Ja, misschien moet je dit niet onthullen, maar dit is wel een beetje hoe het gaat. that once the public is will be open to it we're going to start focusing mainly on climate global warming and it's our it's going to be our focus like uh, like our, our focus was to get trump out of office right without saying it that's what it was right so our next thing is going to be for climate change awareness what does that look like i don't know i'm not sure i, I have a feeling it's just going to be like constantly showing videos of like decline and ice and weather warming up and like the effects it's having on the economy and, and really talking about that? The head of the network like just who's that is that Zucker? Is that Zucker yeah I imagine that he's got his council and they've all like discussed like where they think um so that's like the next pandemic like story like that will yeah that will will be to death but that one's got longevity you know what i mean it's not like probably think it's going to take years so they'll probably be able to milk that for quite a bit you know? so climate change overload uh, be prepared it's coming do you think it's going to be just like a lot of like fear climate yeah fear self do you think it's going to be just like a lot of like fear Time. Yeah, fear solid.
really shopping for this holiday season. It's okay, you can admit it, if you've bought an item or two or ten for yourself. Well, it's okay, you can admit it if you have bought an item or two or maybe ten for yourself. It's okay, you can admit it. You've bought an item or two or ten for yourself. It's okay, you can admit it if you bought an item or two or ten for yourself. It's okay, you can admit it if you bought an item or two or ten for yourself. It's okay, you can admit it if you bought an item or two or ten for yourself. It's okay, you can admit it, Todd. If you bought an item or two or ten for yourself. It's okay, you can admit it. If you bought an item or two or ten for yourself. It's okay, you can admit it. If you bought an item item or two or maybe ten for yourself. It's okay, you can admit it. If you bought an item or two or ten for yourself. It's okay, you can admit it. If you bought one or two or maybe three or four, maybe even ten items for yourself. It's okay, you can admit it. If you bought an item or two or ten for yourself. And it's okay, you can admit it. If you bought an item or two or ten. Ten for yourself. It's okay, you can admit it. If you bought an item or two or ten for yourself. It's okay, you can admit it. If you bought an item or two or maybe ten for yourself. It's okay, you can admit it. If you bought maybe an item or two or ten for yourself. Is it okay? You can admit it. If you bought an item or two or three or ten for yourself. It's okay, you can admit it. If you bought an item or two or ten for yourself. It's okay, you can, can, you can admit it. If you brought an item or two or ten for you. It's okay, you can admit it. If you bought an item or two or ten. For it's okay. You can admit it if you bought yourself one or two or ten things for yourself because a lot of people do it. This is extremely dangerous to our democracy. 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 This is extremely dangerous to our democracy.